Hello everyone. I thought it was time to do another uh, series on my uh, channel here. It's been rather a while. Uh, so I figured I'd uh, do a, a game of Civ 6. Now this is uh, going to be a, uh, not going to be a standard game. Uh, there's uh, going to be some mods which I'll show here. Uh, I'm going to be uh, running with um, uh, the Extra Faith Pantheons, the Faith Pantheons mod. Um, more Barbarian Experience, which, uh, uh, which uh, means that the uh, uh, drop-off rate for experience from Barbarians is, is slower. Uh, I'm going to be playing with no AI to start at advantage, which means the AIs aren't going to get extra units, uh, Eurekas and uh, uh, Inspirations right at the start, uh, but uh, they'll still have their combat buffs and uh, other things that they would normally have. Uh, I'm running with the Prismatic Color and Jersey Overhaul, which will should prevent seeing invisible uh, sieves, and uh, you'll see why in a moment. Uh, also, Religion Expanded, and uh, that will uh, uh, give more religions on the map, and you'll see why in a moment. Uh, I, again, uh, Tome Tech's uh, Historical Religions for the same reason. I'm playing with a Removable Districts mod, which I got uh, not, not the Steam version, uh, but the one from, uh, where was it, Civ Fanatics or something like that, which is slightly updated compared to the one on Steam, uh, at least as of uh, when I got it. And that allows running a project to remove a specialty district, uh, which is really nice if at some point later in the game you uh, you need to do, so do a different district somewhere or something like that, you can run the uh, project and remove it. Or... As is more likely, you conquer an AI city and they put districts in stupid places uh, where you want to keep the city, but you, but the districts are in stupid places. And as it would stand, uh, typically you'd have to raise the city to get rid of the districts and then build a new city. Um, and then yet not another maps pack, which has the map that I'm going to be playing, which is the Play Europe Again map. Okay. So that's what, what I'm going to have here. Uh, so it's mostly vanilla except for uh, the difficulty and the religions, uh, basically. Uh, so I'm going to go and uh, create the game. Uh, now I uh, preset this up. Uh, so that you don't have to watch me, uh, you know, selecting all this stuff for... 15 minutes uh, or uh, so I don't have to go into post-production and adjust all of this. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to play uh, the Europe map with true start locations uh, with uh, as Russia. Uh, and then I've put in all of the civilizations that have a uh, true start location on the, the, the play Europe again map. Um, and I'm now. I only have one Greece. I'm going to have Heracles representing Greece, uh, and uh, I only have one France and one uh, one England. Uh, so I'm using Catherine for France and uh, Victoria for England, uh, and that's because um, Eleanor of Aquitaine, uh, her. Um, uh, special ability of uh, uh, converting a city uh, directly without going through the free city stage uh, is uh, quite overpowered there. Uh, so I figured uh, uh, let's use the classic uh, leaders uh, and, uh, and there we go. Now uh, I have included um, both uh, Gilgamesh and Cyrus uh, they do have look, start locations on this map, uh, but they may not be their actual civilization's uh, real start location. I'm not completely certain of that, uh, so uh, there is that. 
uh, but they they start near each other down in the bottom right of the map in in and around the uh, Arabian Desert and so on. Uh, Nubia also has a starting location, and I'm not sure how accurate it is. They're right down on the southern uh, end of the map uh, by Egypt, but they do have a start location. Uh, and those are the only ones that are potentially iffy. Uh, Genghis Khan may be a little bit iffy as well, uh, but without him, the uh, eastern plains are pretty empty, uh, even with Tamiris. So uh, Genghis it is, and he does have a start location, so, so there's that. Um, otherwise... There isn't really much to say about it. Uh, so this is basically all the civilizations uh, from uh, a Gathering Storm that have uh, that have start locations on this map. Uh, now I'm playing Deity, but with a with a uh, a modification. Instead of having uh, the standard deity where the AI gets three settlers and a stack of uh, inspirations and uh, eurekas, uh, uh, the one mod uh, that that I uh, listed removes those, the extra settlers and the, uh, the eurekas and inspirations. Uh, that will start us off on a slightly more even footing, but they'll still have their buffs to research and uh, gold costs and combat and everything else. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, we're getting a slightly more even start, and it should reduce some of the early conflict between the AIs, uh, especially for the ones that start really close to each other. It should actually make things a little less problematic for the AIs. And it should allow some of them to get uh, established a little better before the early wars start. Um, and plus, I don't want an insanely difficult game. Uh, I don't find that fun. I don't find uh, the steamroll that the AI gets particularly fun on Deity. But I wanted a more difficult uh, battle scenario. Uh, so that's why modified deity but that's so you know that this isn't actually stock deity um, everything on the uh, map itself is basically standard uh, default settings except uh, the uh, coastal lowland is set to empty which means there will be no lowland tiles that can flood and I did this because what floods on this map is particularly nasty and it really destroys the uh, the shape of the land. And I don't think it's particularly uh, uh, true to the intent of the map to have it enabled. It can be enabled and by default it is, but I have it turned off here for this particular game. Now I'm enforcing true start locations for the AI, that's city-states and the AI civs. Um, and real city naming is enabled. Uh, that you'll see can cause some excitement, uh, especially since what the stuff in the game thinks the name of a city is uh, may not match with what it actually is on the map sometimes. Now I'm playing with no turn limit and with only domination enabled. Uh, that uh, that means that the only way to win the game is domination. Uh, but basically, the point of this game isn't really to win. It's to see how long I can survive before either I get overwhelmed by the AI players, or I get bored, or the game starts crashing. Uh, one of those will happen. Uh, odds are I'll, I'll get bored, but... I have tried this twice before without the uh, remove the uh, the extra units and tech boosts uh, mod, and uh, one in one I got swarmed by Genghis and uh, basically lost. Uh, there was just no way I was coming back from it in time to keep up with the other AIs. 
And one of them, I ended up so far behind by the industrial era that there was no possible way I was going to survive uh, the, the, even uh, the modern era. Uh, I was almost certainly going to get swarmed by Genghis or Tamiris or both, and maybe the Romans, who I ended up at war with uh, very early on and would not accept peace without me turning over every ounce of gold I had coming in for 30 turns. And that's when they would accept peace. So, so that was uh, a little bit problematic. So that's why this particular setup. Uh, I'm going to be playing Russia, which starts in the, uh, obviously, the, uh, uh, the Euro European plains. Uh, so uh, it's not particularly defensible. So uh, this, this would be interesting to see how this particular uh, start goes. Uh, so uh, I'm going to uh, start the game and we'll see how this goes. Uh, I haven't tried this uh, mod that uh, nerfs the uh, uh, starting advantages for the AI before, but it should put us on a slightly more even footing, so I'm less likely to run into uh, AIs with 47 cities on turn 200, right? Uh, and for all the stuff in around the Mediterranean, it should make it easier for the AI to actually get it started. Uh, be easier for uh, England and Scotland as well because they won't be tooling around with settlers all over the place. So hopefully it allows uh, stronger uh, AI sieves over, overall uh, instead of having uh, a huge land contest instantly. Anyway, once this gets started, uh, we'll see what, uh, what I end up with. Um, in the previous plays, uh, I had uh, a really, really, really good start uh, for the capital. I'm not sure how much of that is coming from the actual map and how much was coming from the random seed, so we'll find out. And it looks like it was from the actual map. So I'm actually not going to move my starting settler. These three wheat tiles uh, in range are absolutely brilliant and if it holds there will also be three horse tiles in range so I'm just gonna go ahead and settle and this is what I meant about see the game uh, eternally thinks the uh, Russian capital is St. Petersburg but uh, this uh, true city naming uh, calls us Moskva or if we were playing as an English uh, civilization we'd probably see Moscow uh, so uh, this is our uh, start uh, now uh, and this is probably uh, not so great of a choice I'm gonna start with astrology uh, I, I actually want to get a religion uh, but it's gonna delay me 20 turns getting to other things um, now uh, I have a couple of choices here. I could start with a slinger for defense, or I could start with a builder. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to start with the slinger. Um, I tried it with the builder before to get the wheat online sooner, and it turns out that that was not necessarily the best choice because uh, it, it uh, delayed my defense and it delayed that first settler. Um, although getting the uh, wheat online first makes the, uh, the city grow faster, I'm actually going to do that. Then I'm going to explore with the uh, warrior. Now, I don't know where any of the goody huts are. Or I don't know where the barbarian uh, encampments are going to be. So, uh, there's uh, that aspect of exploration uh, that, will, uh, uh, that will affect the game. Uh, and because the AI doesn't have its three settlers, uh, its extra settlers, 
I will probably not run into the AI cities quite as quickly. So I'm going to explore around Moskva and see uh, what there is to see. Um, and hopefully find some good huts. But we'll see what I find. I, I don't know what I'm going to find exactly. Uh, now, uh, you might think I should go looking for a natural wonder to uh, get the boost for astrology, but there's no point. There aren't any near enough to uh, to the uh, starting point here. And we meet Angus. Um, uh, and he's exploring. So, uh, well, first off, I'm going to send a delegation. Uh, anyway. Okay, so uh, so we've met Genghis. Uh, I didn't see his uh, explorers uh, right away previously. So things are definitely different. Um, this probably means I'm not going to find uh, goody huts out this way. But you never know. It just it, If he just walked by three tiles away from a goody hut, he might not have seen it. So... Uh, okay, so now I'm going to start working on a settler. Um, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to start working on the settler. Um, that's a risk, uh, but um, it's something that I think is worth doing. Uh, just so I can get a second city out ASAP. And uh, if I can get enough gold coming in, I can buy the Slinger. Uh, and that will uh, probably... Ah, there's a uh, goody hut, so yay. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and improve that. Uh, so I'll go up here and I'll grab the goody hut. And it looks like Genghis didn't see it, so that's kind of good. Um, right. Uh, okay, you can go there. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so, uh, Bronze working has advanced. That's actually a, a much better result than uh, than I have been getting previously. Uh, like getting a, a boost on astrology after it's researched. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, it's down to one turn left, basically, or something like that. Um, now let's see what's over this way. Uh, I wonder if there's another um, goody headed out this way. Okay, so that's code of flaws. I'm gonna go for um, I'm gonna go for foreign trade, and I'm gonna fill the policy slot. I'm gonna grab this one because I want a pantheon ASAP, and this one for defense against uh, barbarians. Uh, right, so we'll go this way. Yeah, okay. okay. I'll do that. That boosts craftsmanship. That means that uh, we'll, uh, our, our city will grow pretty quickly. As soon as uh, astrology comes in, I will uh, switch to a Lavra. Yeah, his delegation is most welcome. Now, can we buy a slinger now? How much is a slinger? 140. Okay. So, let's see. Is there anything fun up this way? I see there's diamonds over here. Okay. There's astrology. Choose research. I'm going for animal husbandry to reveal horses. 
Okay, I don't see anything over there, and I need to change this to a Lavra. Um, I want it plus two Lavra, so I'll buy that tile, stick it there, and in five turns we'll have uh, we'll have the the Lavra. Now, if I've been thinking, I could have used the uh, production exploit, uh, which is kind of cheating, but. Uh, Okay, there's Tamiris. Yeah, see, I would have encountered a city right over here uh, previously, um, uh, which would have uh, uh, which would have been uh, yeah, it would have been right around here. So uh, it would have been. Uh, you know, a little bit less uh, nice. Oh, they just don't play like us. Okay. Um, right. Apologies if there was some uh, slight feedback or something on the... Uh, game sounds there. I had the audio set up not quite right. Um, okay, I'm going to send this guy back up this way. So I need to defend the capital, especially the Lavra. Okay, so the Lavra is up. Yay. Now, let's see how this is doing. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, we're going to have a much better shot at this. Uh, I'm going to do Holy Sight Prayers uh, just because I want to get the uh, uh, the uh, uh, religion out ASAP. Uh, and then after that's done, I'll complete the uh, Settler and then uh, we'll build some defensive units and then spam out Settlers. Oh look, we've got a flood where there's no city. Yay. Uh, okay. Now, it's probably worth planning where to put uh, put cities. And I think over here is a good spot for a city. It's... Uh, It's right beside here. It's in reach of the diamonds. So I'm going to uh, add a uh, city center. Uh, plan there. Uh, this map tax thing, when they added it to the main, uh, the main game was, uh, was absolutely brilliant. Um, right. Okay. So this is where I'm going to put my uh, first uh, you know, expansion city. Um, so there's animal husbandry, and there we go. We've got uh, horses in three places. Uh, right. So, uh, I think I'll go for mining so that I can uh, crush uh, uh, forests if I need to. Uh, we're going to get a Pantheon real soon now. And then it'll be a question of which Pantheon. So it'll be Dithering About Pantheons, uh, Part 1. Uh, so we'll do Holy Sight Prayers again. Uh, we're at 17 out of uh, 60 uh, great profit uh, points. Uh, and our nearest rival here is uh, getting one. Uh, and none have been recruited yet. So that means nobody's built Stonehenge or anything. Well, I still had the option to build Stonehenge. So yeah, go figure. Ooh, barbarian horses. That's annoying. This guy's going to have to retreat. 
Yeah, definitely retreat. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll retreat one more, and he'll attack again. And then that should kill him. Yes, that it does. Okay. Now we get a Pantheon. So, dithering about Pantheons. A uh, great person point, get a Divine Spark, can be good, but no, I, I'm not going to go for it. Uh, this one could be good if we had marsh, um, past years, culture from past years could be really good, uh, because we will be improving those horses, but we can get culture other ways. Uh, religious settlements, uh, could be absolutely brilliant, as it comes with a settler. Um, yeah, that... See, that's a tough call, because if I do that one, I forego some uh, some other uh, uh, bonuses that I could get. Um, and we get down to, uh, down here, uh, we start getting into uh, pantheons that uh, are part of the expansion, so... Um, uh, so some of these uh, desert miracles uh, could be uh, would be good if we had a desert. Uh, and I see the one that I was kind of angling for isn't here, which gave uh, two gold from forest tiles. So uh, so that's okay. Uh, culture from tundra, you know. Uh, coastal and lakes, not so good. Sacred beasts, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, science from mines on luxury and bonus. Um, uh, culture, uh, influence points. Um, yeah, so most of these are not so strong. Uh, so in the absence of the other one, which was two gold for each forest, I'm going to take Religious Settlements, uh, which gives me a uh, Settler, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, now this guy, he's going to heal, and I think I can get this guy out here whoops um, without him being uh, uh, clobbered uh, okay so I'll try that and we'll see what happens um, anyway uh, this gets us a settler out uh, faster than we would have otherwise and our city uh, boundaries will grow faster okay so one more um, holy site prayer, and we should be good. Uh, why did it go here and then up here? It should have... Oh, because it's going to go along that way. Okay. So that's mining. Um, I'm going to go for masonry, uh, so I can build city walls right away. Uh I'm definitely going to need uh, ancient walls because, uh, it, you know, Genghis already has uh, Petrovs uh, out here, uh, and uh, that means uh, I definitely, uh, he's going to attack here uh, just because of proximity. I mean, he's got really the Empire already. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Okay, so uh, next turn I uh, found the city, and then I will be building defenses in there. Uh, so there's foreign trade, uh, civic, 
Uh, now I'm going to go also for uh, for early empire. And uh, now let's see, where am I here? 56. So yeah, I, no point in doing that. Um, actually, I'm going to finish the settler. And uh, I'm going to send this guy over here to uh, clear out that barbarian. So I'll uh, build that, uh, delete the tack, and I will build a slinger. Uh, now, is he going to whine about settling too close, or does he just not have enough uh, a diplo favor to do that? That's a possibility. Uh, so we head over here. Uh, right. Okay, I've got enough here that I can buy a slinger, so I'm going to do that. And we're going to grab our great profit, and I'm going to uh, attack here. And, okay, we'll found our religion. Now, uh... We're founding the first religion. Okay. And we are going to call it Boat Mormonism. Uh, the other one might have been denouncing Venice, but you know, uh, if you get the reference, great. If not, eh, look it up. Uh, you'll find it amusing, maybe. Um, right, now, dithering over religious beliefs, part two. Um, right, uh, we really want to uh, keep up in science and culture. Now, uh, I'm not sure which one is the, uh, the more important one here. Uh, Science gives me the uh, units and stuff, so maybe that one. So seminaries could be really good for shrines and temples, so I'll take that. And uh, what have we got for a second one here? Uh, I could go with uh, Watts, which is plus two science from the religious building. Uh, or I can go with something that provides um, gold, uh, or something like that. Um, or I could go with uh, science uh, from uh, adjacent to uh, holy sites, uh, which could be uh, quite strong as well, or culture adjacent. Actually, the culture one might be really good. Uh, or two gold for adjacent to uh, holy sites. I'm thinking maybe... Uh, well, if I build my uh, shrines and temples then, yeah, that would give me a uh, pretty solid uh, science. This will give me a boost on culture. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Because uh, I need to get through the civics tree a lot faster than I'm doing. Uh, so, I'll found this. Okay, so first religion got us three era score. Uh, right, so we have that. Uh, and now we're, we gained a whole um, culture point, uh, which uh, is not a bad thing. Um, right, so I, I want to get uh, the, the uh, furs here online, uh, but I've got a uh, barbarian problem in the... Uh, you know, being uh, created here. Um, but I want to take this one out. Um, 
Wow, Mongolia's got a third city up already? Wow. Okay, so this, I should be able to take this, this out next turn. Um, yeah. Yeah, better take it out. Uh, right. Now, I'm going to need to, uh... Okay, he's got 105 military. I've got 22. So, yeah, i got to start uh, building the things. But I've de definitely got a barbarian problem. So, well, I'm going to bring this guy back here so he'll heal faster. Um... Right, and I'm going to have to just start building units. That's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, yeah, because I'm getting swarmed here. Um, right, but I need that settler out. Uh, and then I'm going to start building uh, uh, military units. <sighs> wow, everything's been pillaged. Uh, right. So, uh, warrior, uh, right, now if I come down here, yeah, that's probably a reasonable spot. Uh, you can take your promotion, uh, right, and, Okay, there's Early Empire, and I'm going to go for Craftsmanship, Governor Appointment, uh, I think I'll go for Pingala, uh, in Moskva, uh, right, so what was, uh, what was his ability? 15% uh, uh, increase in science and culture, right. Uh, well, I'm going to bring this guy over here. Because I clearly need to start dealing with the barbarians. Uh, you go up here. Okay, I think I'll be able to get that city out, so that's good, and I'll start building immediately in there a, uh, oh wow, a, well, that guy's obviously gonna, gonna back up here, and, uh, yeah, okay, warriors coming online. Okay, and another warrior, you can back up, you can move up here, you can turn into a city, and uh, you can build a slinger. Uh, how's my military strength? It sucks. He wants open borders. He's offering gold. I'm going to take it. Okay. You can go in here. I'm going to attack you. I need to get the slinger gone. And then I'm going to start building... Um, well, I'm going to research archery, and then I'm going to start building, uh, uh, building archers. Okay, you can back up. Uh, right. Uh, military tradition. I definitely need that one. Uh, so, this guy... Uh, walls, walls, uh, right.
right, you can heal. Uh, you can come up that way. Um, how would I only have 31 strength? Oh, is it because these guys are down? Uh, Pillage just into oblivion in here. Uh, you can go up here. Next. Uh, right. Okay. Choose production. Slinger. Uh, you can go up here and attack that. Yay. Boost to archery. Uh, you can... You can go over here. You can attack there. Good. Uh, right. Next turn. Okay. Man. Barbarian's there. Oh, wow! Okay. You heal. You heal. You come this way. Next turn. Okay. We're going to have... Uh, Archers now. Uh, right. Archery. Military tradition. Good. Um, wheel. Uh, and then uh, you upgrade. You upgrade. Um, I guess we'll go state workforce. Uh, you come this way. You come this way. Okay. Okay, you come out, you come this way, you shoot there, yay, uh, you shoot there, good, and yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to need a few more archers. Ah, right. Okay, you attack there. You attack there. You attack there. Good. You attack there. And, uh, okay. You can uh, camp out. So this is a drawback of having fewer AI cities on the map. Uh, it means that the uh, AIs aren't uh, cleaning out the uh, barbarians or preventing them from uh, from uh, spawning like this. Uh, right. Uh, you can go in there. Uh, you can fortify. You can come across here. Uh, right. Okay. As this is a serious barbarian swarm. I've actually seen an AI games where an AI got swarmed, like the regular games where an AI got swarmed like this. And it set them back for the entire game because they could never catch up with the swarm of uh, of barbarians. So you go there. 
you go up here and shoot there. Um, you attack there. You attack there. Right. You go there and attack there. See, and if you can get enough units out fast enough, then you can do something about it. But I definitely need a builder so that I can actually repair some of this stuff. Uh, and that's got me, I think I've got enough units where I can have a shot at uh, doing something here. Uh, right, so you have a promotion. So you take your promotion. Uh, you don't have a promotion. Okay, you can back up here. You do have a promotion. Uh, you can take that one. Uh, you can shoot there. Wow, that's pretty strong. Um, right, you can go in here and heal. Wow, Genghis can really settle fast. He must be prioritizing settlers. Um, right. Man! Okay, so we'll go with political philosophy. Governor title. Um, we're going to appoint uh, Victor in here okay wow okay you need to be taken out you need to be taken out you can move up here to soak up damage Oh, man. What? Okay, continue. Free inquiry. Yeah, we'll do free inquiry. Unit needs orders. You can heal. You shoot there. You shoot there. You stay there. Uh, right. Okay, attacking my city is uh, perfectly fine. I'm going to bring you up. I'm going to attack the melee unit. You are going to take the promotion. You are going to stay there. You are going to move up. Okay, I'm going to have to build a stack more units here. Okay. So, yeah, I need to attack the melee units. So, you go down. You go down. You die. You die. You die. Okay. No. 
Okay. How are we doing? Oh, he didn't die. That's impressive. You go over there and repair. You attack there. You retreat. You go up here. Uh, you build an archer. You have a sleep. You heal. Oh wait, no, I can actually attack. I will attack. Okay. This is actually some progress, finally. Oh look, we had a flood, now. Wheel, okay, now I can build heavy chariots. Uh, horseback riding seems like a good idea. Okay, you back up, you move ahead, you kill you. You move out here and park. You can go over there. Um, you can move down this way. Okay, good. Right. You can move over here. You can move out here. You can fortify. You can repair. And yeah, wow, that was crazy. Okay, that was a great way to build up military strength, but wow. That was painful. Uh, right. Now, I want to go over here and improve that. You can park. You can move over here and then over here. Okay, you can come down here. Next turn. Okay, you can go away. I'll have some sort of cavalry soon. Uh, right. Production. That's ancient walls. Now, I will build Heavy Chariot. I'll improve that. Okay, you shoot there. Okay, so now I'm going to definitely need to improve the furs and uh, the diamonds. Oh, he's sending a trade uh, delegation thingy. Right. Ah. I'm going to send you down here. And you over here. You can go over here. Right. Where is he going? Moskva? Okay, we have in Moskva an archer. We will repair the Lavra. We will here. I think we will build the walls because it's a frontier city. And I will bring the archer up to here. 
you can park uh right uh, where is he going a flood where there's no city and we got more barbarians so i'm gonna have to build some stuff uh You know what? I'm gonna build the monument so I don't get too far behind in culture. I have two builds left there. I will put the camp up and I will go up here and clobber that. You can park. I see an archer here. Does that mean he's coming forward for an attack? Or is he just scouting? Okay. Well, I'm going to go over here and uh, do that. Uh, right. I'm going to... I'm going to park that guy there so I can... There, there's got to be a barbarian camp up here. So, I need to... <clears throat> okay. Good. Horseback riding, political philosophy, choose research. Um, pottery, I think. Wait, what? Uh, choose Civic. Uh, yeah, I think I'll get that one. I'm going for Classic Republic. Uh, that should be helpful. Uh, I think I definitely want that. Uh, well, I guess I want that, and, uh, production in all cities is probably the one I want, faith and gold in the capital, production towards settlers, builders, yeah. Okay, there's that. Okay, you can attack there. Uh, okay. Gold for a cup. Yeah, okay, that's probably a bad idea, but yeah, okay. Odds are Tamiris has enough horses anyway, so... Okay. Hey, you can park there. You can back up to there. Uh, and moving on. Okay, so what we really need to do is uh, get a bunch more military out, uh, which will discourage Genghis and uh, Tamiris. Uh, right. Okay, you can park there. And I meant city-state has been defeated. Okay, so he's heading for Moscow with his, uh, uh, traitor. Uh, right. We have met Caesar. Trajan. Oh, we have a stronger military strength number than uh, Genghis now. Um, okay, what have we got here? Construction. I definitely want construction. Now, uh, you do that. Um, okay.
Huh. Somebody built the oracle. Now, I could build ancient walls, but I'm going to build horsemen. Horsemen will eventually upgrade to Cossacks. He wants Diplo favor and horses for... No. I need my horses. Okay, so I'm going to build a stack of horsemen. Uh, and that uh, should get the... Uh, uh, get me to the point where I can actually do something useful. Uh, right. Do that. Uh, right. And then I'm going to have to start uh, uh, spamming out settlers from somewhere. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I need to build the shrine in here in the temple. Um, right. How much is a shrine? 280. Okay. Yeah. That'll be worth it for the uh, science yield. Uh, right. Okay, so we have a heavy chariot. You know, we'll build another one. And I'll park that over there. Nope. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to park the uh, archer over there. And I'm going to park the chariot over there. Uh, right. Okay. What have we got doing here? Actually, I'm going to move this archer down here and this archer over here. Uh, just so I get more inbound visibility. Um, right. So when I get these horsemen out and the heavy chariots out and all of that it it should uh, it should improve the picture uh, so anyway uh, I'm gonna call this the end of the first part here at just over an hour and uh, next time around it'll be more strengthening and uh, possibly maybe picking a war with Genghis um, maybe uh, hard to say uh, whatever uh, the scenario, uh, I'm going to end up having to do something. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for now. So uh, come on back next time and see how things go.